Hello. Hi. I have a guest today. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Shut up, Kevin. This is my man, Deacon. He's cut out. He's joining us today. Actually, I'm not going to have him sit in my lap the whole time. So I'm actually... I I'm going to move him now. He's very big. Say bye, Deacon. Bye, Deacon. See you, man. Hello. Hello, chat. How are you all? What is up? What is up? Hello. I'm excited to be here. Hope you are too. Welcome to another Ben Plays live stream. I'm Kevin McAllister, the community manager here at Ben Studio. Hello, hello. Hey, Ethan. Shortcat, hello. Dan, I see you in there. Jadis, Sam. Got the whole gang. Spiggy Smalls, what's up, man? Oh, such a good, uh, such a good photographer and virtual photographer. Spawnicus Rex, what is up? So you got the whole, uh, getting the whole days going community in here tonight. I love it. Love to see it. Love it. All right. So how are you all doing today? Uh, I'm, it's Friday. I'm feeling good. I'm ready to play some games this weekend. What is up, Dan? I have a different energy tonight. I have a different energy. I don't know. Playing days gone. It's got me excited. <laughs> so as you see, it all starts with going back to our own game tonight by starting a full playthrough of Days Gone. The first ever on this channel, actually, because the channel's like brand new. But still, it's the first. It might be three years late, but it's okay. We got it now. Uh, so it should be fun. I'm excited. During this, e during this playthrough, I'm going to bring some of our Ben Studio devs on who've worked on, days, uh, who've worked on Days Gone to provide some insight on their work. Um, so that should be fun. That'll be a uh, little throughout. This playthrough is going to take a little bit. Days Gone is pretty long <laughs> and we usually do an hour and a half stream um, depending on how it goes we might bump it up to two hours for days gone we shall see we shall see so uh, yeah I'm kind of ready to jump in I'm playing on PS5 uh, so with PS5 you get the up to 60 frames per second and uh, dynamic 4k super smooth uh, whether you play on PS4, PS5, PC, all kinds of options. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, we're going to get started. We're going to do a new game. I'm just going to do normal difficulty. I've got to shake some rust off. It's, it's been a little bit. It's been a little bit, I'm not going to lie. So I'm going to shake some rust off. We're going to start on normal. And we're going to see how far we get tonight. And let's see how it goes. I'm excited. So glad for everyone to be here. So let me pop up here. All right. So, I got my Days Gone coffee mug. Cheers. Cheers. Actually, coffee provided by Ben Studio. All right, so let's do this. New game. We're just going to do normal. I have played Survival 2. That's usually what I play. I usually play Survival. Uh, that's usually my go-to. I like the no HUD. Uh, the difficulty is really nice. Uh, the hordes are faster. It's, it's, it's fun, but... I don't, want to, I don't want to die. Like I said, i got to shake the rust off. So let's do this. Normal. All right. Let me catch up with chat here. Hello. Freaker's Blend. Oh, I like that. You know, it took me a second. I'm like, wait, Freaker's Blend? What? And then I get it. The coffee. No, but you know what? I'm, I'm going to suggest that to be the name change. Uh, I think it almost has to be now since you said it. Freaker's Blend. I mean, we've had a de uh, Deacon's Red Ale before, so why not, right? Oh, man. So many, so many familiar names in the chat. It's nice. Hello, everyone. Hello, new, new viewers. Thank you for releasing Days Gone. Oh, well, thank you. The team, I actually had nothing to do with it. The team here is uh, incredible. They're so talented, and... Uh, yeah, they've made quite, quite the game. It is a dark roast. You got that right, Jadis. Always a dark roast. Days Gone has changed my life for the better in so many ways. Oh, I'd love to hear it. Yeah, <laughs> I guess I could say the same thing for myself, right? If it wasn't for Days Gone, I wouldn't even be here now. So, yeah, it's uh, definitely made an everlasting impact. Oh, myself, my family. Whatever the hell's going on out there, she's been stabbed. Yeah, Days Gone community, we are a legit family. It's, oh, okay. it's been three years now. 
uh, you know, being on social media, talking with each other, and you know, doing these streams. Uh, it's just been so much fun. Your favorite game ever, over 500 hours in. That's awesome. You're catching up with me then. Uh, yeah, I have watched The Walking Dead. Walking Dead is actually one of my favorite shows. Um, yeah, you can definitely see some similarities. I know um, nothing in the in Days Gone was based off The Walking Dead. It's just kind of one of those things like, oh, yeah, that does look similar, right? But, yeah, I love The Walking Dead. I'm a, I'm a sucker for the zombie uh, freaker, whatever you want to call them, genre. I love this game so much. I've done four playthroughs and got platinum. It's such an incredible and underrated game. Plus, I live in Oregon. Hey, or fellow Oregonian? I think that's right. Oregonian. What's your highest score slash ranking on the Outride Challenge? Oh, that's a good question. I believe it's like 123,000? Maybe? I'm not sure. I'll have to look. I met a lot of awesome people online thanks to Days Gone. You all, you bring the you bring the feels tonight, everyone. This is great. Same same here. I've, I've met so many people that I consider friends, and I've played other games with co-op online. And uh, yeah, it's it's always nice when games can bring you closer to people all around the world. Yeah, and I think it's been said before that like that was like part of the pitch, right? Walking Dead meets Sons of Anarchy. That's it's kind of you know, it's, it's it is a nice blend. I love both shows. Oh, shit. oh cool! You worked for PlayStation Merchandiser out in retail. Nice. Wow! Oh, thank you for playing. Thank you. You're at number three. Oh, I just now saw it. Number three, 154,000 on Outride. That is incredible. You deserve a virtual high five. Because that is awesome. Because I don't... No, I'm not even close to that. Two years later. So, yeah, this this is like my uh, seventh playthrough. I think I'm starting. I have no idea. I started a few times and then never finished it, so it could be like my eighth playthrough. I, I don't know. It's a lot. On my PS5, it's got over, uh, the, you know, the hours played, it has over 550. And then you tack on another, like, uh, 100 or so for PC uh, this past year. So, yeah, I've uh, put in a decent amount of hours to this game, you could say. The community is absolutely the best group of people on the planet. Shout out to the community. I love you all. High five, Yates. High five. You lived in Oregon? Nice. Oh, that's cool. Sam, give me your playthrough numbers. Come on, it's time to flex. Give them to me. <laughs> think I'm currently 3,200 hours. 3,200? Did you type in an extra zero? 3,200? <laughs> Are we flexing? Yeah, we're flexing tonight. Go ahead, Dan. Do your hours. Let's see it. While I drink my Benson Drew coffee. Oh, it's time to play now. Let's do this. Alright. If I miss... Let's see. Do I hit any trees? Do we want to bet... Over or under two trees during this drive. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be confident in myself. And I'm going to say I'm not going to hit a single tree. Dan, 13 playthroughs. Yes, love it. It's super cool. Yeah, oh, don't go in the fire. It's not smart. Yeah, I'd be curious of your hours. Do you have a PS5? If so, you can check it on there. It's usually pretty accurate. Probably a thousand hours 
Hold a challenge <laughs> outside alone. Yeah, those challenges are fun. They're addicting. I've said it multiple times on previous streams, uh, like last year when we played Days Gone, that the challenge, I looked forward every Friday to the challenges. Um, and usually, so I worked second shift at that time. I was working at a warehouse. It was a terrible job. It was terrible. But my one, my one thing that I love to do is as soon as I got done at 12, 1230 at night, I would come home and uh, put on the challenge, put on the new challenge of the week. Um, and I'll, I would stay up to like 2 or 3 o'clock, making sure I got the, you know, the gold before I went to sleep. I think between Sam puts in five to six thousand hours. Holy crap, Sam! But but Sam's are he, but Sam works here. Sam's he, he works in QA, and he's an awesome at his job. So that that is that's awesome. Five to six thousand, man. So am I am I just like a noob compared to you? <laughs> I thought I thought I was something in this game. Uh, we don't need these tips. I got this game. I think. Actually, no, I don't. Press. It. See, I still have the Elden Ring fingers. I've been playing the heck out of Elden Ring lately. Oh, an announcement. I platinum Elden Ring. So everyone in the chat, feel free to call me Elden Lord, because that is what I am now. That is probably my most accomplished platinum I've ever received. Not gonna lie. But I did it, and I'm super proud of myself. Spawn and kiss. Uh, up to 12 to 13 playthroughs, roughly 1,600 hours. Beautiful. Man, everyone's got me beat by a lot. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Thanks, Spawn and kiss. Yeah, I appreciate it. I really uh, fell in love with that game. It's been fun. Well, I, falling in love, I don't, that's... Is that the right words? I don't know. <laughs> I really... Did I enjoy the game? No, I don't know if that's the right words either. It was... It was an adventure. <laughs> Let's say that. It was an adventure. All hail Elden Lord Kevin. I love it. You got your roommate, uh, Elden Ring? Nice. They'll have fun. Or not have fun. Or just be angry all the time. It's one of two. <laughs> there is no in-between. You got 96 hours? Hey, 96 hours is a lot. Let's go see Leon, this guy. Yeah, they do sound like baby hours. Like my 500 some hours. Or no, 600 altogether, right? Now that seems like... Well, let's see. I'll get another at least 30 hours in just for this stream. Don't look like you'd be suffering for too long. Leon, you got a little problem here. See? I'm playing on this uh, Sony OLED TV, like 65 inch. And Days Gone looks even more incredible. <laughs> I, don't, I don't quite have this TV at home. This thing... This thing brings out all the details. No, wait. All right, all right, no, no. Hey, obsession is good. Obsession is fun. Where? In the in the Playing with headphones on and lights out is my favorite with Days Gone. Yeah. Thank you. Until you reach, go into the Reacher Cave, and then it's just a little scary. Do it. Don't leave me out. How many hours do you have on Elden Ring? I think I'm at one, 124? Yeah, I think I'm on 124. I don't know how much more I'm going to really put into it, though. Like, I've got the platinum. I did what I needed to do. Janelle, what is up? Janelle, Sinnell, a.k.a. Mrs. Boozer, a.k.a. Professional Screenshot Artist for Boozer, a.k.a. She Really Loves Boozer, a.k.a. Boozer is Awesome. Hey, hey, Janelle. Best game in the last decade. Oh, wow. Thank you, thank you. Oh, trophy. Oh, yeah. So I'm playing on the Ben Studio account for this because I have all the 100% trophies on my account. And 
it's quite embarrassing if our Ben Studio account doesn't have Days Gone Platinum. So I'm fixing that. I'm doing the Lord's work today. It is official now. So many, so many Days Gone uh, communities here. Love it. So nice. Alright, let's pick up these these little pieces so we can craft. Not gonna lie, it's like uh, riding a bike all over again. My hands are a little are a little stuck to Elden Ring, but I'll have this in no time. As Janelle has awesome uh, virtual photography. The Elden Lord's work. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Who will do the Ben Studio count challenges to gain platinum? Uh, <laughs> Sam. Sam, you got that right. Sam can do it. You think your internal speed run time was nine and a half hours? Oh, wow. You know, that's one thing I have never did for Days Gone is do a speed run. I feel like I should. I don't want to do it with this one, but that does sound fun. Jinsekai24, what is up? What's good, man? How are you? We're still in default FOV? Yes. Yes, we are. Days go on speed run. That is a, that is an idea. What, Dan? Are you talking to me? What? Are you new here? Is that is that pointing at me? Am I supposed to do the challenges? Is that how this is? Uh, Jinsukai, no, it's not a speed run. Uh, we're just doing a, a full playthrough. Uh, start tonight. Um, maybe I don't know. We'll see. I'm not gonna promise anything. Maybe speed through speed run eventually. Probably by myself. Maybe. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure I could speed run days going. I get too easily distracted by scenery, and it's hard to speed run when you take out the hordes with a sniper rifle. Hey, whatever works. Whatever works. So tomorrow, get the drugs, take them to hello, Tucker, hello. Collect all Leon's bounty. Then I say we head Everyone home. coming to the chat, hello. Nice for you to drop by. 48-hour stream confirmed. You stop it. Stop it right now. <laughs> I, I don't know, 48 hours. I don't know what's the longest I've ever played continually. Uh, yeah, no idea. Probably never, it's not, never too long. Saw a setup like this a couple days ago. A bunch of rippers blocked the road with an old truck. What's your favorite gun to use? Um, I usually go with the Chicago Chopper. Uh, that's usually kind of my go-to. Or the IDF Pup. Um, those two are kind of like my... End game, new game plus weapons. Chicago Chopper, you know it. Hello. I see a hello in the chat while I'm getting punched to death by this guy. Alright, what's the buttons? Yes. You know, I actually really appreciate these tutorials. Any other time I would not, but now I do. I said, it's, it's been a while, and I'm, uh,. I'm upset with myself, honestly. Oh wait, when did I, sh I stream this one time? Uh, I think it was, la maybe it was Extra Life last year? I actually died in the tutorial here. It was very embarrassing. I didn't do that today. Come on. We're almost there. Auto shotgun. You know, I never used that until like my multiple playthroughs and then I grabbed it I'm like, yes. I get it. I understand. I understand. I have to say this is cool watching you play this, man. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's one of those things where it's um, it's always a little surreal for myself when I do uh, things like this for Days Gone, because like, I that's why I'm here now is because of Days Gone. So like when I'm, so right now I'm streaming Days Gone in Ben Studio, like it's just one of those like surreal moments. Like, is this happening? This can't be happening. <laughs> Let me 
your shotgun and I'll walk point. We have had. We are spoiled with games lately. And it's it's great. And then it's like, wow, how do I play all these games? Looks like that checkpoint had him backed up pretty good. Yeah, a lot of good it did him. I'd rather be buried back with the goddamn pioneers. Yeah. Shit. Days Gone has an awesome atmosphere. Love this game. Uh, love this game visual. Yeah, uh, I think that's one of the the highlights of Days Gone is the atmosphere. Is I mean, it kicks you right off right here, right in this dark tunnel. You know, you have these abandoned cars. It kind of is like you know, you see what the world is right from the beginning. Oh, actually, right here, I think this is the one. Yeah, this license plate right here is Eric Jensen, our design manager. That's his initials and his birthday birth year. So, yeah, shout out to Eric Jensen. He contributed a ton to Days Gone. Was one of the uh, one of the pillars to the game. That's for sure. There, come on, let's go. Hey, hold up! How many miles you got left back here? Let's hit it on the way back. Leave it. Yeah. Leave it my ass. Son of a bitch! You're hoping someone's home. Oh, thanks, Sponicus. Yeah, uh, yeah. I still pinch myself every day. <laughs> And then, you know, uh, almost like every uh, game dev now, it's you get that imposter syndrome. It's like, uh, do, I do, I, do I belong here? But it's been a heck of a journey so far. I already got the first year under my belt, so I'm very excited to, you know, see, be here for the future of Ben Studio. Days Gone is the ultimate zombie or infected survival game. I think so, too. I think so, too. I don't even know what, what do you... Everything, all zombies have different names. Zombies, freakers, you know. It's, uh... It's its own freakers genre. How about that? Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Crossbow? You know, crossbow is an underrated weapon in this game. I personally don't use it that much, but it's lethal. <laughs> uh oh. There we go. One, take his arm out. And another one, and boom. See? Like riding a bike. Alright, let's turn this alarm off because it's very annoying. Oh, Deacon, let's go in front of the hood here. There we go. I'm farming machine parts in Horizon Forbidden West and watching you live. Hey, well, that's awesome. Horizon Forbidden West is my favorite game of the year, so enjoy that game. Uh, love it. Uh, got the platinum in it. Uh, I can't. I'm. I want to go back again. Seriously, incredible game. Hats off to Guerrilla Games. They are awesome people over there. Elden Lord McAllister. See, you get it. <laughs> you get it. All right, let's go this way. We'll grab some of these. See, I always like grabbing as many supplies as possible in early game, um, right here, because if you get ahead of get ahead of the game, you don't really find yourself lacking in supplies. Because there's been a time where I've went through this tunnel like, you know, almost like a speed run, just went straight through this tunnel, didn't grab the supplies, and then I found myself five minutes later uh, scavenging for supplies like crazy. You're currently working your way through the Siphon Filter series. Oh, awesome. Nice. Enjoy. That's really cool. It's, it's really cool still seeing like comments on social media, um, you know, where players are starting Siphon Filter for the first time. I think that's really neat. Sorry if I miss uh, some chat. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot. Another, another one of these alarms. There's that one. Boom. Let's turn this off now. Yeah, this area in Crazy Willy is a great place for get crafting materials. Yeah, that's for sure. You think your wife's license plate uh, is in the town somewhere too, Sam? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I think Phillips, Philip Wilson, uh, I thought his was here too. Okay. 
And let's get one more. Come on. Boom. We don't waste ammo here. We need it all. Siphon filter was first game I bought for myself. Oh, that's really cool. That's awesome. Yeah, Tucker's camp uh, to get better weapons. Yeah, I always um, if we get to the spot tonight, it should, maybe, I don't know. Um, I usually always give the stash to Copeland actually, uh, because I like to upgrade my bike right away. And as soon as you like finish that required mission for Tucker, you kind of get enough credits anyway to get a decent gun to where. Like, it, it doesn't make too much sense to uh, give the stash to Tuckers. So you actually win if you give the stash to Copelands. In my opinion, I think. Oh yeah, let's uh, get some mollies. One. Just one molly. Oh yeah, I have to kind of throw it at the nest, don't I? Let's go. Where are you? There's one. Boom. We don't waste ammo. Boom. Any more? Alright, yeah, see? Okay. Easy smeezy lemon peasy. Alright. I've been thinking about what you said about riding north. Just saying, you need to get away from here. Clear your head, you know? Hey, see you, Ethan. Thanks for stopping by. We'll hit the road. I'll see you around. Yeah, brother. Now you're talking. No, no, Kevin Tucker for weapons. <laughs> but you get the weapon right away, I'm telling you. If we get to the part, I'll show you. Watch, you'll get it right away. Shit. How does the gun stick to his back like that? Super glue. Also, I've been gaming on and off since the 70s. That's so cool. I love Lost Lake, but Copeland's camp looks awesome the way it is set up. Yeah, I like how it gets vertical. Uh, yeah, I, I love that too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> easy squeezy, lemon peasy. What are you thinking? And I already know it's a bad idea. You just are you talking about the weapon and NPC drops? No, not that one. Like you can get it right from uh, Alki. Like I said, if I if we get once we get to a spot, I, I can uh, kind of show you. Clean the nest is the most fun activity on the map. Yeah, it is fun. It can it's like one it's one of those uh, really fun open world loops. <laughs> have you met Jim Ryan in person? No, I have not. There's a uh, there's been kind of a pandemic going around, so like uh, not many people have uh, been around. All right, get the newts out of here. Let's go this way. Oh, nope. See, nope, that's not crouch. What is crouch? Circle. I'm getting there. Met Jim Peary. He's a total boss. Jim Peary is awesome. Um, I haven't met him face to face, uh, but we've talked a lot outside, and it's he's seriously an awesome guy. Uh, I really love Jim. He's such a super nice and down-to-earth guy. So honestly, same with the whole cast. Sam Witwer is awesome. Uh, Nishi, who plays Ricky, super cool. Like, I don't know. The, the cast is like... I don't know how they got the cast so nice. Oh, yeah. This, um... Yeah, this beginning can be... Oh, see? I keep pressing the wrong button. Is L3 Crouch in Elden Ring? I feel like it is, because I keep hitting it. Oh no, this way. Grab these out of here. Uh, yeah, it's it's mandatory. You must have a beard at least my length to work at Ben Studio. Honestly, it's the only, only reason I got the interview. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I'm still using Elden Ring buttons. Very, very bad here. Going, right, let's grab this. Gotta make sure I grab all these supplies. 
This is... I haven't made the game. I had nothing to do with this game. <laughs> uh, I'm the community manager here at Penn Studio. So, however you want to call that. By a year, you'll have a beard like you'll have a beard like mine. Good. Prove it. Prove it. No, no, I don't want that. I want the bat. <laughs> no, no. No, just just me and uh me and Philip Wilson. We have the uh extraordinary long beards at Ben Studio. His is very long and braided, and mine's very uh, craters-like. What has Ben working on? A video game. Oh, I can't go in that one. Let's try this one. Elden Ring is your game of the year? Nice. Yeah, uh, mine's, like I said, mine's right now still... Uh, Horizon. I really, really, really enjoyed it. That story was very impactful. Aloy's character grew a lot. And I really enjoyed her more this time than the first game. Actually made me... Uh, became one of my favorite PlayStation Studios characters now. PlayStation characters. <laughs> you know, I, I've thought about doing the whole braid thing. I don't know if my wife would approve, but I've thought about it. Just for kicks and giggles, you know, I gotta try it. At this point, before before I trim it, because there's gonna be a day, you're gonna, you're gonna come on stream, and you're gonna be like, who's this guy? Who is this playing Days Gone? It's gonna be Kevin. Not clean shaven, I, I'm not gonna do clean shaven. I'm not gonna go that far. I'm not that much of a rebel. But uh, yeah, it will, it'll need to be like Deacon's Link soon. Especially when it gets hot. Oh, I forgot the uh, kerosene. Aloy is awesome. For sure. Go ahead and grab this collectible. How far into this game is this what? Uh, this is, uh, I'm talking about like a basic, like a basic weapon. Uh, like, I know you can get good weapons from Tucker, like, later, later on. But I'm talking about, like, the basic weapon to kind of start you off with. Uh, it's nothing special, but it's just, like, more bang for your buck if you trade with Copeland. Because you can kind of get both. You can get the, uh, the bike upgrades and get the gun. I could surprise her one of these days. I could. That would be funny. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Uh... Oh yeah, I gotta get out of the garage zone. This, oop. I forgot one thing. Sorry, Boozer. I had to get this cloth first. This way. Eternally optimistic. Hello, how are you? Thanks for stopping by again. Yeah, and for everyone in the chat, we have not uh, announced our next project yet, so there is nothing we can say about what we are working on. So sorry, but please be patient. Thank you. That is true. I can always unbraid it, right? Uh, with the BB... Uh, mod in the bike um i don't know i wasn't here at that time i know it's a close collaboration with kojima productions though oh you uh i forgot what i was gonna say I know, right? The these little little reppers, boozer. There, let's take care of them real fast. Yeah, Bo boozer's a big man, right? I don't think those rippers could handle him. Oh my god! Let me help you up. 
Uh, yeah, I work here. <laughs> One of your favorite shows is Sons of Anarchy. Uh, yeah, it's, um... I said earlier, it's kind of part of the pitch early on that, yeah, Ben Studio, a lot of people at the time were huge Sons of Anarchy fans, so I think there was some type of inspiration for it. Is this on PC? No, I'm playing on PS5. PS5. I mean, I guess you could use the Dual Sense on PC too, but no, I'm on PS5. Oh yeah, good call out though. Uh, PC is 50% uh, off right now. I think it's the cheapest sale yet, I believe. Yeah, pretty sure. So you know what? I'll go ahead and drop that in the chat in case anyone wants it. Boom. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. <laughs> oh man, my coffee's getting cold already. I don't know if you all can see this. This day's gone mug. See the that's one of the UI logos in the game you'll notice throughout. How much have you and other PS3s improved dealing with COVID over time? Um, I think pretty well, honestly. Um, if anything, I think it's, I think it's improved uh, communication between all the studios um, because it's so easy now. Just jump on a Teams call or a Zoom call and just chat, brainstorm, throw ideas at each other. You know, it's, uh, yeah, I, th I think most studios have done pretty well with it uh, for you know the incredible situation it's been um but yeah like we have an option to come back in on uh next week so that's pretty cool it's exciting to you know have some people if they want to come back into the studio so yeah hopefully 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 it's getting back to normal um let's go in the gun locker i don't know if i need anything in the gun locker oh crossbow i guess i guess i need that all right Oh yeah, because I gave my gun. I don't have a gun anymore. Kevin, doing days gone before coffee like days gone. Wait, what? Spawnicus. What? what? <laughs> Sorry, that the days gone coffee one. That I, I lost it. Anyone else find it difficult to play games after playing days gone? Uh, that was for me for a while. I think that can also be said for a lot of games. If you get so immersed in a game and you're so hyper focused on it and you're just playing the heck out of it for you know, for months, it's hard to go into something else. Like I just finished Elden Ring and I was so immersed in it and put so many hours into it, I'm kinda of lost right now what to play next. I platinum horizon, I platinum Elden Ring, so now it's like I I don't know. What do I play next? The character models in Days Gone are equivalent to Red Dead's too. Well, thank you. I think the team would really appreciate that. What the hell? Boozer, are you awake? Uh, yeah, PS Studios, we are. We're very close. Uh, yeah, like uh, me and some other community managers from other PS Studios, we talk a lot. Uh, it's great. It's It really does, um, you know, you see the PlayStation Studios family thing going around on, on Twitter and everything. Yeah, it's true. Like we do, we we're we're pretty close. Oh, uh, okay, I got you now. Yeah, Claire from the Days Gone podcast. She does really cool stuff with that. Really excited, really cool that she ha still has that going. Oh, I need health, don't I? There we go. I know, Deacon. You can't run twenty yards without going out of breath. You got Far Far Cry Six. Haven't haven't played Far Cry Six yet. I'm gonna finally jump into Cyberpunk 2077. That's one thing I want to do. Uh, I haven't did that yet. I need to. How 
Hey, no worries, Fantasine. Work. Work smork. <laughs> Um, I think I think people players always get confused about uh, about the DLC because the challenge modes are they are DLC. It's not story DLC, but you know the challenge modes releasing twelve different modes throughout the summer, along with new game plus. Um, you know that was like all post launch stuff. That uh, oh, you didn't catch me. So yeah. Uh, I think people get that a little confused sometimes, but the challenge modes added a, a added a lot more playability to Days Gone too, and, and the new game New Game Plus as well. Let's craft this so I can pick this up. Thank you. Cyberpunk legit fun gameplay. Yeah, I'm I'm curious about it. I'm curious, but. At the same time, I don't like first-person open-world games. I don't. It's a it's a thing of mine. I don't know. I I, I love the third-person view, um, but one day I'll get to it. Hey Todd, how are you doing? Beeswax ninety nine. Nice to see you in here. All right, let's see how how stealthy can I play this? Yeah, I heard the story was really well done. That's kind of. Uh, why I'm most intrigued into it. Is he gonna... No. Oh, he's gonna catch me. Nope. Go back. Let's see. Uh, thought there was one guy over here. No? Maybe not. So I'll hide behind this log. I'm gonna try to do this as stealthy as possible. Alright, let's try to take this guy out here. And... Boom. Good job, D. Good job. You're a savage, man. You just you really brutal. Oh, you meant the Days Gone story. Hey, that was a good story too. <laughs> Does that that does she see me? No. Okay, go away. Boom. Watch out for bear traps. Yes, bear traps. They will be the ones to get you. All right, only two more. Let's see, can I do this perfectly stealth? Uh, let's see if I can get this guy. I don't know if I'm, am I gonna alert her? Nope. Boom, knocked it out. Marauder camp, there we go. Oh, you wanna make sure if you're a trophy hunter, you wanna make sure you, uh, you, um, what's the word? Scavenge, scavenge all the bodies, loot all the bodies. Because uh, that will be a trophy later on. And since I'm trying to get as many trophies as I can on this Ben Studio account. Uh, doing this right. Let's get your arm fixed up. And then worry about hitting the road. I'm going to be heading to my bike. Deacon out. Uh, Haven Stevens renamed a shout out. Hello. H. Van Stevens. Massive Days Gone fan. Well, we love you. And you get a virtual high five, including the shout out. Oops. I almost sacrificed myself for that virtual high five. I hope you I hope you appreciate that. Oh, that is not sprint. That is roll. Uh, so, so I never heard what made you play the game. Uh, myself? Um... The game was always on my... Oh, Steak, man. You gotta get some cardio in. Um, it was the E3 demo, honestly. When I saw the old Sawmill Horde. I mean, that was kind of like what not to like there. You had 10 minutes of just action. Um, but yeah, that was kind of like the thing that... Uh, that got my attention immediately. And then I... You know, I followed the news, I followed the announcements up until launch. And, uh... Oh, thanks, Mark. Have a great weekend. See you next week. Oh, yeah, and you can reset all the Marauder Camps and stuff, too. Um, yeah, so, if for the people that, that kind of know the story, um... I was actually not going to get days going at first. Uh, because my wife was expecting our, our third child. 
and it was right around the same date as Days Gone was going to be released. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm just going to have to push it back and, you know, get onto it later. Um, unfortunately, she, she was late, uh, like a good nine days later or so. So that weekend before, I'm like, all right, let me go pick up this Days Gone game at GameStop. So I picked it up, played a few hours that weekend before, uh, before my son was born. And really loved my time with it. Obviously, a couple weeks go by, I couldn't really play too much of it. I had a newborn. <laughs> um, and then uh, we got into a routine every night with my newborn. He would just kind of fall asleep on my chest uh, for a few hours um, until his uh, next feeding. So I obviously couldn't go to sleep. So I was up in the middle of the night with him on my chest, headphones on, playing days gone. And that's kind of how I got through my first playthrough. Um, and during that time, so a lot of personal stuff connected to the game itself. One, with my son, and two, um, my dog that we rescued, uh, she got diagnosed with cancer at the very same time when all this was happening. And then, you know, you get to the scene with Jack. So it was just like a bunch of like personal things related to the actual game, which is, um, you know, doesn't usually always happen. Uh, so that was kind of like a big thing. But yeah, that was my roundabout way of how I got into today's call. <laughs> Ninja, absolutely love this game. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for playing. Yeah, stamina is is uh, ideal in Days Gone for sure. Oh yeah, my th this room gets a little chilly. My my coffee's pretty cold now. Oh yeah, yeah, it's my favorite game of all time for sure. Uh, and like I said, just because of the personal connection to it and uh, having me land this job or land this career of my dreams is nothing will ever top it. It it can't. <laughs> yeah, we do need some of those mug warmers. I should have I should have brought the thermal. I mean I'm almost done, but yeah, it's it's pretty cold. It's it's not nice. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. No worries. Uh yeah yeah slowly potty training him. Yeah that's 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 been fun. <laughs> Yeah, um, I think that's what's really cool about video games is another player out there has that same connection that I had with Days Gone with like Red Dead Redemption or, you know, who knows. Um, and some of those games just really impact yourself. And that's kind of like just the beauty of video games and why I love being in this industry so much. And being just a sliver of of an experience to somebody else. So who all has um? Uh, sorry, I keep reading the chat. Keep getting distracted. Does anyone here, like, I, most people here have probably played Days Gone, uh, played Days Gone PS4, PS5. Has anyone played on PC? If so, like, what are your thoughts, you know, what are your thoughts difference between PC and P, uh, PlayStation? What's your favorite alternate language voice capture for, what? <laughs> I, I don't know, Dan. <laughs> that one I don't know. Days Gone came along for me at a really hard time in my life and gave me the escape I so desperately needed from stuff that was going on. So I'll forever love this game. That's awesome. I love those connections with the games like that. Your PC peeps loved it. Nice. Just started on PC recently, but looks awesome. Are you playing ultra wide? It's a whole new, whole new level playing on that ultra wide. Oh, so sorry to hear that. Yeah, video games can be very impactful. They're very needed. 
PC port is great, but I always prefer the PlayStation experience. Nice, nice. Italian is pretty great, also Japanese. Huh, good to know. Thank you. Days Gone is one of the best games I've ever played. Played on PS5. Love it. Japanese VO for this is amazing. Well, now I have to listen to it. You two keep bragging it up. Only PS4 Pro, then PS5 for me. Nice. Yeah, the jump from PS4 to PS5 was, was awesome. And then PC, uh, released on PC, and it's like, wow. So many ways to play, and that's what I love. I love opening up games to uh, to as many players as possible. Alright, uh, there's a collectible back here. Gotta get that. Oh, there's two collectibles back here, actually. I remember, for the only trophy... For the trophy, you only need 75% of the collectibles instead of 100%, which is nice. Uh, because sometimes collectibles just get a little too outrageous with games. So it's nice where you don't have to collect every single one. All three for me. Yep, Janelle, you're awesome. Yeah, I think Days Gone was actually my first uh, PC game game <laughs> like uh, uh, if you're not counting like uh you know backyard baseball or sims or something like <laughs> days gone was like legit legit first uh pc game and i got hired right before the pc launch so a lot of what i did when i first came in was around the um days gone pc cool. launch okay, then. have you been to broadway bridge yet no I have not. Let's go to Manny. Yeah, storytelling is kind of where it's at for me as well, and the relationships. Um, I've said before, Deacon and Sarah is very close resemblance to like me and my wife, and how we met, and you know things like that. So, the characters are my favorite part of the of Days Gone. Yeah, Deacon is relatable. I think so, too. PC for the extra photo ops. Yeah, those those have been nice to see on uh, on the Ben Studio feed. Seeing everyone uh, get a whole new different angles of Days Gone due to PC. That's been really cool. Oh, I guess I need to upgrade. Let me get Let me get a new skill. Oh, okay. Swipe. I always love the swipe pad. It's, it's fun. Swipe. Swipe up. And there. Alright, let's go and get a skill. Wow, that's a really bright white screen. Oops. Nope, wrong button. Okay, skill points. I have one. I usually do everything... Not... No, not survival. I usually do everything in range. Uh, focus is a huge one. And there's a trophy. Bam. I don't know how many trophy hunters we have here, but uh, I Days Gone actually drove me to becoming a trophy hunter now. So I kind of started late in the game for trophies, but now uh, not every game, but a lot of games I do try to get as many trophies as I can. It depends on how immersed I am in the game. Oh yeah, the dynamic weather, it's a, uh, yeah, it kind of resembles Oregon as well. Oh, oh yeah, I need to I need to stop here, don't I? Get off the bike. Oh, I only have the pistol, don't I? Oops. There's that one. Oops. There's him. I love how they just duck out of the way. Like, that's not even fair. Uh, wait, do I not have a bat anymore? Oh, I do. Okay. 
Ah, uh, no. There's them. And boom. Okay. Those are taken care of. Yeah, Days Gone is available on PS5. You can get it through the PS Plus uh, collection for free if you have a PS Plus subscription. And it was upgraded for the PS5, including up to 60 frames per second and dynamic 4K. So quite a bump from the PS4. And yeah, all that's for free, the upgrade was. As long as you have internet connection, you can just update it uh, as soon as you get on. It would just be an automatic update. Oh, I'm an idiot. I forgot to take out the things. Good job, Kevin. Good job. Um, where are they coming? There they are. Oop. Darn it. I need to heal. There's one. No! There we go. I need some spikes on this bat. Okay, now I need to go take out those, um, those alarms. Because I completely forgot to do that. Hello, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Let's get up here. Jump up here. Let's take this one down. Wait, no. No, I actually... Oh, I turned it off, didn't I? Well, I guess I can still take these out, though. That will help. <laughs> There's one. I have to try to provide the entertainment, right, Jin? Alright, where's the other one? I hear him. I don't see him. Where are you? Is there another alarm, or I think that's it? Use the first one is uh, pretty simple. Boom. Yes. Okay. Cool. So now we can go and get the fire axe behind the MMU. Good call. Good call. I'll turn this back on now. Yeah, only two speakers. Yep, cool, cool. Wait, where's the... Uh... Oh, here it is. Good call, Sam. Good call. That will help a lot better than my plain old little bat. Alright, let's, let's give it a test. Boom. There we go. Perfect. That that worked out well. That worked out well. Alright, now let's go in here. Sterile bandages, sterile bandages. Oh yeah, the alarm at the at the old sawmill. Yeah, that's something. The very first time I went to the old sawmill, I put that alarm on. I immediately regretted all my decisions. Yes, sterile bandages. Just what the doctor ordered. Now I just gotta get this back to Boozer Hell. Get a uh, stamina, of course, Deacon. You can barely run, man. You need the stamina. There we go. All right. I love Deacon. That's the stuff. Like, dude, what are you putting to your body, man? All right. Oh, get the Neo recorder. Got to get that collectible. Oh, that's actually coming through the speed the controller. I don't know if you can hear that. I think I can turn that off though, actually. Alright, let's get onto the bike. Oh yeah, we gotta go this way now. Can you all hear that? That recording? I didn't realize it was gonna come out of the controller. I kind of forgot about that. We can? Cool. Alright, let's go this way. Yeah, I, lo I love the, um, the little tricks coming out of the controller. Actually, a, a lot was done with the controller between the voice, uh, the near recordings coming out of the speaker. You know, you have the swipe pads uh, with the menu. Um, I kind of love that that little little stuff that the little features that work like that. Boom. 
It's going to be exciting once we get to the sawmill on the stream. That'll be fun. Maybe they're like me, just tired of listening to your paranoid truth or bullshit. St. John out. You can put it into focus. You can put it into focus and then not put a skill point into that so it doesn't count. Alright, this way. Let's go up here to the booze man. All right. Yeah, I always like the features in um, in controllers. I think it, like, uh, what was it, Death Stranding? You can hear BB uh, out of the controller, which is kind of cool and freaky at the same time. <laughs> oh, Chimolt Horde? Yeah, that's, that's a fun one. It was actually funny. I was, uh, when I visited Ben last year, before I moved, uh, me and my wife went to Crater Lake, and on our way, we went through that Chamolt town, and I took a bunch of pictures. A lot of it was pretty identical to the game. It was really cool. Like the Burger Mart there, and the gas station. Um, yeah, it was kind of cool just being there, knowing, and there was like the train track. Oh yeah, I haven't died yet, have I? Good, good. Can we make it through this whole stream without me dying is the main question. I doubt it. Yeah, Jadis, has you, have you ever been up there? Um, you know, going to the Crater Lake area? Super cool. Alright, let's get on the bike. On my not upgraded bike. Like when you go, when you get this fully upgraded and then you come back to this, it's such a difference. Like this thing is so slow compared to it. Stay out of the way. All right. Oh. Cool. Cool. All right. Let's get out of here. This world comes for you, right? And oh, what? Boom! Stop ducking my gunshots. Oh, we got stuck on a bear trap. That's what happened. I was confused what happened to that thing. That works. All right, let's get my bike. Yeah, so for the most most of this uh, playthrough we're going to do, um, I'm going to try to stick to the Golden Path, just because Days Gone is a very large game. We'll see how it goes. Um, there may be like a week or two between the playthrough, like the, we'll jump onto another game, depending on uh, scheduling. Um, but for the most part, yeah, we'll stick with Days Gone for next, for a little bit. Um... But depending on how far we get with hour and a half streams, we might bump it up to two. Because like I said, Days Gone is a very large game. But for the most part, yeah, we're going to stick to um, the Golden Path. Which is like roughly 30 hours or so. Give or take. That depends on how many ambushes there are. And how many times you die. This is usually where I die right here for some reason. Like, this one is the spot that gets me. I don't know why. Oh, I thought I could reach around there. There. Alright. Get over here. Nope. They didn't touch me. What is Ben Studio hiring for? We're hiring for uh, multiple positions. Art department. Uh, production. Programming. Um, you can check out all the positions on bensudio.com slash careers. Uh, some things are like available for fully remote depending on what the position is, which is really cool. Boom. Um, there we go. Is there? No. Is it just that one? Where are you going? Where are you going? 
Don't run away from me. Let's get, loot these bodies. Oh, he's going up there. Look at him being all just tricky. Look at him. He thinks he's smart. Oh. Wait, where's the other one? Who do you see? You don't see me. There we go. See, you, you, you are not smart, man. Nice try, though. A for effort. Survival 2. Yeah, that can be difficult. Not gonna lie. Especially after not playing for a while. It can be pretty difficult. Alright. Um, what we got? I think there's three three more. Which I think probably two are on by that ladder there. So if we can go... Uh, where they at? No? Where are you? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh, I heard him. Now I got you. Where are you? Nope, not this way. Okay. Are they all up by the ladder? Oh, no, there's one. There's that one. And then I assume the next two are up there. I think. So let's go ahead and loot his body. Um, who's shooting at me? There you are. Oops. Oh no. Alright, one more. Let's take this one out. There we go. Ah, I didn't die during that. Usually I do. For some reason that, that this camp is the one that gets me. No, it's this one and the other one. The one by the train tracks. Oh, do I have to climb the ladder first? I think I, no, I have to turn the thing on, right? I have to press. I always jump ahead of it. I gotta turn this on first. Nice job, thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. I love all the different type of runs people do with Days Gone. It's really cool. Like the no unlocks, the... I think there was one that just happened recently. It was a speed run with just a boot knife, I believe. So that's, that's pretty incredible. Hey, Days Gone Podcast. Claire, hello, how are you? How are you doing? Thanks for stopping by. It's nice to have you here. You did hear your name mentioned. Alright, let's go get to the bunker. We got the whole Days Gone crew here tonight. Boot Knife and Rock is still my favorite run. I never did that. Sounds fun. I don't. I've never really did too much experimenting with like certain type of runs. I've always just. Uh, I've really always enjoyed the story, so I've always just kind of played it for that. Oh, what am I doing? Nope, not this way. It's, just, it's that room. I know it's that room. Let's get the map. Then we can upgrade the bat. Koala TV, what is up? How are you doing, man? Nice to see you here. Where's the photo mode? <laughs> hey, I told you, and I tweeted out, we might have to do just a photo mode stream. So that might be one of the streams we have to throw in here between the playthrough. But we've been slacking the past few weeks because we've had on guests and everything. But usually I, I like to end every stream with a photo mode shot. So uh, we're going to we're gonna start that back up, especially with Days Gone. So like right at the end of the stream here, uh, we'll do a quick like photo mode shot just to um, end the stream. It'll be a nice way to close it out. Another great Days Gone player is Borislav247. His challenge mode videos are astound outstanding. You know, I don't, that name doesn't ring a bell. I'll have to, I'll have to check him out. Thank you. Thank you for pointing that out. Appreciate it. Getting all the supplies. Oh wait, yeah, I know there's scrap here. Isn't there some scrap over here too? No, maybe not. Alright, let's go up the 
never ending yes, yes, ladder. Yeah, there was so much content and videos coming out every week during the challenge modes when they were releasing. Uh, it was super cool to see. And even still, people are still playing those challenges and throw, sh shooting some videos out. So what are you all playing this weekend? What's, what's on the agenda? Like I said, for myself, I have no idea what I'm playing this weekend. I might play some more Elden Ring. Because I seem to have a problem. Um, I don't know. I, I really don't know what else I'm going to play. Let's see. Can I... No, I pretty much crafted any, everything. Okay. Okay, so is that Mountain? I assume that's Mount Bachelor. Dan, am I correct there? Is that Mount Bachelor? This one? Or is that one? No, that looks like a sister. Is that the sisters? And this one, I assume, is Jefferson? Pretty sure. It's really cool seeing these mountains in game and see them also in, uh, in real life. Been revisiting. The first one definitely looks like Bachelor. Yeah, this one, right? No. Wait. Yeah, this one. Yeah. This one here looks like the Mount Washington. Yeah, it's like a whole dif different level of immersion since I've been here and playing the game. It's really cool. Think of starting another run of Mass Effect. Nice. Still trying to finish Horizon for a bit of West. Going back and forth between Her Her Assassin's Creed Valhalla and playing Hoods, Outlaw and Legends. How is that game? How is it? Hoods? Uh, never really seen people talk about it. I'm curious. Jade is trying to wrap up ER, Elden Ring, some Tiny Tina. That looks fun. I'm curious about that oh, one, too. Oh, Sam, the first one is Bachelor. Okay, cool. Dying Light 2. Oh, we have a whole different list, a whole variety of games in here. I think I saw an Elden Ring in Days Gone, if that was from Janelle, I believe. Alright, well, we are done here. Let's go ahead and get in our skill. Oops. Yeah, I usually do a lot of ranged um, with, my, with my first few skill unlocks. It's just kind of like my play style. Hello, first time chat. Euro... <laughs> Euro. I'm going to nickname Euro. Hello. Hello. You camped at Three Sisters? Oh, that, that's cool. Yeah, I've done quite a bit of uh, hiking and stuff since I've been here already. Uh, we went up to Three Finger Jack, which is in the game. Um, I'm trying to think what else like, that's in the game that I've been to. Mount Bachelor. I've been around there. Any recommendations for a new gamer for PS1 games? Ooh. Um, chat, any recommendations for a new gamer for PS1 games? I will be biased and say Siphon Filter. You can always try some Siphon out. Hello, Judge. How are you? Hoods is good? Yeah, that was one of the, one of the PS Plus games this month, I believe, right? Get it for free? PS Plus always comes in clutch. Yep, Siphon Filter. Got another recommendation for Siphon. I mean, you can't go wrong with uh, with the old Siphon Filter. Legacy of Cain, Blood Omen. I do not know that one, but there's a recommendation for you. Metal Gear, oh, that's a good one. That's a mighty fine one. Try going hungry for three days. There's no such thing as a 
Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet and Clank from our friends at Insomniac. Alright, let's get off of here. Oh, really? They all came chasing me? Uh, oops. I didn't know they all came. Oh. <laughs> that was funny. Oops. Wow, I'm just a swinging machine right now. The wild man. All right. There. Okay, this is the one I usually die at, or I get snagged by a bear trap. It's one of two. Oh, I've only got two bullets left. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, so let's try to stealth it as much as possible. I don't know how much that's gonna work, but we'll try. Oh, picked up some ammo. There we go. Perfect. Oh, she's gonna see me. No, no. She's blind. Got her. Okay, let's back out this way. Yeah, this one can be tough in the beginning. Especially since I have, like, no ammo. Oh, uh, yeah, you got two couple over there. Uh, if we can... Oh, there's that guy. If we can get to him. Thanks all for the recommendations. Nice looking out, chat. Oh, who? What? How'd you spot me? I was behind a tree. <sighs> you suck. Alright, let's get behind a wall. Hey, Greg. What is up, man? Nice to see you. Uh, yeah, I'm on normal difficulty. Man, I keep hitting R2 and the focus button at the same time. That must be an Elden Ring button, too. Yeah, normal, um... I would like to actually finish Days Gone on stream before the year 2050. So, uh, don't want to die. Alright. Uh, oh no. Ah, oh, there it is. The bear trap. Bear traps. I hate you bear traps. Whose idea was it for the bear traps? We need to have a talk. Oh, I do have my crossbow. Oh wait, no, I do still have two... I thought I was out of ammo. Well, I guess I don't need my uh, suppressor on anymore. It's kind of a... Uh, blew that cover. Oh, come on, Kevin. There we go. There's that one. We have two more. No more ammo. But we do have the crossbow and a few mollies. Oh, no. Stop it. Oh, I missed. No. Okay, let's try this instead. Did I get him? I don't think I got him. Ah! There. One of these I'm going to hit you. Okay, or none of them. Oh, there we go. There we go. Sorry. Sorry, I apologize. I'm so sorry. Sorry for burning you to death. Alright, let's get the last one. Hey, you, th you have some crazy awareness there. Let's chase you down. I'm gonna get you with the bat. Ha ha ha. Sorry, I just neeganed you. I'm so sorry. So sorry. I apologize. Alright, still have not died, everyone. Still have not died. We are still going strong. Alright, so now let me craft some things so I can pick up some of these supplies. Um, get some of these. Get this. Oh, this quality of life fix. This was actually added post launch. Where even like picking up weapons from bodies was square too. And then they fixed it to where the weapons was triangle and then the items were square. A uh, little thing, but such a huge such a huge quality of life fix that was. Alright, um Oh, there's some more bodies this way. Get up here. Thank you, thank you. Good job not dying. Thank you, I appreciate it. Watch out for the bear traps. Yeah, it's too late. I'm so I hit a, I hit a trap already. Yeah, I'm gonna ride up to the um, Okay, that's good. See if I can find me on stash. Sorry. Oh, hello. There's a peekaboo freaker. Get out of here. And. 
Greg, you know, I think you are right. I think I, I still have that survival run going from when I was streaming prior to Bend uh, that I have not died in. Um, will I get back to that? I don't know. I should. Yeah, I, I was even before doing this stream for Bend. I was actually thinking about doing a personal stream at home with Days Gone Again. I miss it. Like jumping on today, I've been so excited all day to do this. Like I had such a different energy coming into the studio today. I'm like, I'm so excited to play Days Gone. You should. Yeah, I should. I should. I should. Get out of here. Fixing that pickup control was so needed. Yeah, for sure. Okay, what am I doing? I'm just kind of driving around here. Uh, Storylines, yes. So, clear out those nests. And then search the Pioneer. So, we're right here. We're right next to this one. What time is it? You know what? So we'll do we'll do one more mission here. We'll clear out these nests, uh, and then we'll kind of wrap it up with this. Thanks, Greg. It's nice to be back. It is. All right. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna clear this out. Usually, what I do is for this one, I just kind of do of a a throw and run type approach. Um, was the last was a big influence in Days Gone Productions? Uh, no, I don't believe it was actually. I think uh, they were almost kind of coming out to Saint or in production around the same time. So um, no, I don't believe it was. Ah! Let's get the crap out of me. See, I'm so glad. I see, see what happened when I got all of those uh, supplies in the beginning. I have so much mollies the the craft. You're on your fourth run. Nice. So for all of you, multiple people in here have played this game multiple times. Like four runs, five runs, six runs. So what's what's your favorite part about it? What's your fa absolute favorite part about Days Gone? You must have it or you just want it like the game. Is it story? Is it the hordes? Is it the characters? Is it the bike? Um, yeah, for me, it's, it's the story, honestly. I think the gameplay is just a bonus. How many more nests do I need? I know I need one over here, right? Oh, two. Okay. I'm on seven currently. Nice. Ah, get out of here. I'm trying to burn nest here, freakers. Oh, don't crouch. Don't crouch, Deacon. Wrong, wrong button. Nope, wrong button again. Nope, wrong button again. I keep doing it. The story and the music. Absolutely has to be the story and the music. You know, music is a big one. Music is Nathan Whitehead absolutely killed it. There's not one in here, is there? No, there's not. Where is the last one? There was one in the middle. Did I get all? I think I, I thought I got all the ones in the warehouse. Got this one on the side. You like the combat, open world, characters and story. Okay, which one am I missing? Is there one right there? No. They're all chasing me. Nope. I must have missed one in the warehouse. I think. Chat, let me know if I am wrong. You missed the one in the warehouse. That's what I thought. Okay. Which one did I miss? Oh, I need a heal too before I, I get another freaker swiping, no swiping. Here we go. Ah, run, run, Deke. Nope. R1 is roll. I was about to whistle, um, I was about to wh whistle turret. S too much Elden Ring, too much Elden Ring. Can't whistle my bike. You have the music on Spotify? Yeah, it's uh, one of those few games where I'll listen to the album on Spotify. This, God of War, uh, even Horizon. Forbidden West, especially. Kind of some of the ones I've I've listened to while driving. Hey, hey, Dan. See you next week. Thanks for stopping by again. You're awesome, man. Have a great weekend. I am going the wrong way. Oh no. 
Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh my. Oh good golly. Let's go this way. Okay, this way. Yeah, Sam is like the love. Like I didn't even work on the game, and I, I always loved seeing so much passion from the players. So for the people who actually worked on the game here at Ben Studio, like I can't even imagine how it feels coming from uh, the community. I'm running out of gas. Crap. Rookie mistake, Kevin. Rookie mistake. You like the hordes? You know, if you could whistle your bike, just have it just like autopilot coming up to you. <laughs> just driving like Revenant's engine. That would be funny. Oh, there's a there's a neo recorder here. How do I sure listen to this? Later, Sam. Thanks, man. Thanks for stopping by again. Alright, let's get on here. You bought the soundtrack and listened to it while driving in Montana? That's that sounds like that sounds like a nice time. Later, Sam. Have a great weekend, man. Okay, where is the tow truck when you need one? Yeah, I know I need to repair and refuel my bike. Thank you. And we're done. We're out. Alright. Um, I was going to try to find some... I'm sure I'm not getting chased like crazy here. Oh wow, this this mirror recorder is still going. If you can hear it. I love, love, love this game. You know, I love, love, love this game too. Oh, stop. Chasing me for one second. Yes, I know I have to heal. Oh, don't die now, Kevin. Oh, uh, run. Okay. I am in a pickle. I am in a pickle. What difficulty is this? It may look like it's survival right now, but it's actually normal. How can I... Yeah. How can... Uh, how can... I cannot speak tonight. How can anybody not love this game? Facts. Facts. I'm playing on Survival 2. Survivor 2. Nice, nice. Oh my gosh. I get it. You're trying to eat me. I understand. But I don't know where I'm going right now. And I'm lost. And I'm getting scared. Alright, come on, Deacon. We have to find a tow truck, dude. <laughs> you got this, Elden Lord. Thanks for the confidence. I am the Elden Lord. Come on, Deacon. We have to find a fuel can somewhere. Oh, there's more. There's more freakers. This is this is great. This is great. Quality content to end the stream right here. And he's running out of stamina. I did. I, I literally just ran in a whole entire circle. Kevin, you're an idiot, I swear. Alright, we're going to go back this way. I have no idea where I'm going right now. I'm lost. I only play Survival 2 now. It's all your fault. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where am I? I can't even pull up the mat. Okay, you know what? Let's end this with a photo mode shot, shall we? Let's get a nice one. Um... Oh, I don't even have a weapon to make it look good. Okay, let's go. Ooh, and boom. All right. We're going to end it. Oh, man, it's been a while since I jumped in the photo mode, too. Jeez. All right, so what you want to do, you don't want to uh, use the camera to zoom in and out. It starts messing with the, the quality of the picture. You want to use most of it for the, the field of view. And you want to use the focus, which is the... What did I just press? L3 or R3? I don't even know which one I just pressed. Uh, that gets focused on exactly what you want it to be on. So we're going to get this nice little facial expression of Deke here with the freakers in the background. Um, I never use film grain. I just don't. Like Every once in a while, if I'm, if I'm feeling, feeling spicy, I might. But no, not usually. Just a little aperture. Just a little. Just, just a little smidgen. Um, just to, you know, to see the freakers, but not see them. Uh, contrast, bump it up just a little bit. I like to bump up the, the brightness for his face. 
<laughs> now we're talking, Koala. <laughs> I told you, I had to end the stream with a photo mode shot. So I'm not running for a half hour trying to look for fuel. Do we even want to... T yeah, see, sometimes you even want to use just a tad bit, of the, 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 tad bit of the tilt. See, now the picture is looking happy. We're looking happy now. We're going to go to advanced settings. All right, we're going we're gonna to bump the temperature up a little bit. It's a little too blue. It's a little too blue. We're going to... How are you going to save? We're not talking about that, Greg. We're not talking about that. <laughs> um, what, what I love about Days Gone, you can really get that 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 grim photo. So, like, I, I kind of do like to knock down the saturation for the most part. How are, are there initials on the bat handle? Yeah. No, it's the number. It's the number on the bat handle. Like, all baseball bats have the number. I think it's for the length of the baseball bat. Yeah, so pretty cool detail that's in there. Nope, too blue, too blue. So we're gonna go, so sometimes I'll mess with these, um, depends. You just need just to get a little of those like mid-tones switched. Um, here, I don't think we really need it. Uh, could do just a little bit of some bloom but honestly this is kind of it's kind of working out already get a little get a little vignette to get it really focused on deke here um, yeah I mean for a quick I kind of like this I, kinda, I like his facial expression uh, the freakers in the background it really show this is days gone right so, you know what? I'm going to save this one. I like it. Uh, I think we'll I think we we'll definitely do uh, another stream, just strictly on photo mode. Uh, I think that will... I think people will like it. Maybe. I don't know. So, but that, you know, that pretty much wraps it up. We're going to go back out the full camera here. Because, like I said, we don't want to just keep watching me run around for fuel, because apparently <laughs> I'm lost in the map. And I can't find a fuel can. So when I before I leave the studio here, I'm going to have to go find a saving point and get some fuel. So I uh, don't look like an idiot when we start off next week. Um, so chat, as always, thank you so much for hanging out with me. It was super fun jumping back on the broken road. Uh, seeing so many familiar faces was so great. Uh, it was just thank you. Thank you for coming on. Um, we'll continue our Days Gone playthrough next week with part two. Uh, next Friday, same time, 5 p.m. Pacific time, right here on twitch.tv slash benstudio. So I hope to see you all again next week. Thank you all for stopping by, sharing your days gone love. We really appreciate we appreciate your passion, your, your continued virtual photography, and your streams. Uh, you all are awesome. Mwah. So thank you. Have a great weekend, everyone. Deacon out.